Hey y'all, Bob Scooper at LimitCrew.com. Today I got a Coop Simple review for you. We're going to take a look at the 4th B balance board and the Revolution balance board wobble cushion and rocker combo. Let's open them up and take a look at them. Okay y'all, you may be asking yourself, that's weird, why is Bob's getting a balance board? He's an old guy. Well, about two months ago I had knee surgery and part of my physical therapy has been to do balance exercises. So at physical therapy, they have me on the, I guess, a balance cushion that really works it. And then at work, I have a stand-up desk. So I thought, well, if I need to be doing this balance stuff anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get a balance board. But the balance board, as you'll see, it just ain't going to cut it. So I also got the cushion, a cushion to go with it. So let's open these up and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, here we go. Here's the fourth B balance board that I, that I bought. And it uh, looks like pretty good construction. It's probably like a half inch or five eighths inch hardwood plywood and it's got a couple of stops on each end and then it's got a cork roller a solid cork or at least it feels like solid cork appears to be solid cork now this is a, a great balance exercise but right now this is kind of with the roller is kind of above my abilities so that's why I went ahead and got this wobble cushion and rocker combo from Revolution Balance Board okay so in the bag with the Revolution Wobble cushion and rocker bar. They came with uh, some little instructions as well as a couple of stickers for sticker people, I guess. Keep an eye out for Nana's Keto drinks. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so like I said, I went ahead and got the cushion because when you use the cushion, or I guess I should say, when you use the balance board with the roller, like so, it kind of rolls back and forth like this. And that's beyond what I need to be doing right now. But I'll give you a little taste of that. I'll show you a little bit. So with the cushion, you blow it up, and when you blow it up, actually you don't need a, an inflator for this, it's got a plug in it. Plug comes out, and then you blow it up there, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But when you have the cushion, and you set your balance board on the cushion, well now your balance board goes back and forth, side to side, but it's not doing this number. It's not going back and forth like this, it's just rocking back and forth like this, and like this. And then, that's the cushion, but you can also use what they call, I guess, the rocker bar. And you can do that for even more stability. So now it's only going in this direction. Or like this, it's only going to go in this direction. So that way it's a little more, I guess, uh, specific. So it's a little more specific with what you're trying to accomplish. So chances are what I'm going to be using will be this wobble cushion. And that way when I'm at my desk, standing at my desk, I will be able to kind of stand on one foot, but I'll have my, my desk there to give me a little support. So I'll be able to stand on one foot, kind of in the middle, my left knee, that's the knee that I had uh, surgery on, and then I can take turns, and that kind of helps build stability, and hopefully I'll be back to running soon, we'll see. All right, now this wobble cushion, it's pretty pretty thick, pretty heavy duty, uh, some kind of, I don't know what they make it out of, whatever it is, pretty heavy duty. And the rocker cushion, the rocker bar, whatever they call it, it's just a, a foam board, now, when I was looking at to buy one, these things are ridiculously expensive. That's why I went ahead and got this set, because the boards I were looking at, just to get a, a balance board with, say, the cushion, just to get that, it was gonna be like 180 bucks. Whereas I got this balance board here with the roller for 89 bucks, or 85 bucks, something like that, and I'll put links in the description. And, and then I was able to get this cushion and rocker bar combo for like 35 40 bucks which was a lot cheaper so i was like well why wouldn't i just get the two and i kind of got a complete set for less than what they were charging for a regular set you know so it made sense to me so that's what i did and that's how i got it so enough of that everything seems to be pretty good quality construction and stuff like i said let's get to trying this thing out y'all keep watching and we're gonna see what we can do Okay y'all, so it's been like eight months since I got this thing and I've been using it off and on in the office at my desk and I travel for work so sometimes I, I don't always get to use it and then sometimes I don't have time when I'm at work to use it either. But overall, it's been helpful. You see, this is basically how I use it to work. So let's take a minute and let's talk about the parts of this thing and then I'll show you some exercises that you can also do on this setup. Come on in here and let's talk about these. All right, first off, let's talk about the board, this maple board is good construction it's maple hardwood plywood and i like the grip tape on it but the varnish on this thing and i don't know how well you guys can see let me see if i can get in here see that kind of 
area right there. Yeah, that's where the varnish came off at. And I'll show you where it went as I left it on the shelf in my office when I was traveling. And it wasn't hot in my office, I can tell you that. So that's one thing I didn't like about it, is now it's sticky. It's a, like a sticky surface, which is kind of okay, but that's the Ford B board. It's made by the company Ford B, I guess. I don't know who it's made by. Got it off Amazon, and I'll put links in the descriptions, all this stuff, if you're interested. If not, no harm, no foul. So that's the board. And with this board, they sent a cork roller, solid cork. It's been pretty cool. I'll show you some footage of that here in a minute, using that. And then the other thing I bought along with it, because I went over in the previous portion where I talked about these, was these two items came as a package from Revolution balance boards. And so I've been using this balloon, and then I haven't really used this or the cork board very much at all because I've had it in my office, and I can't have these in my office. But what I do use is this cushion. And I'll show you right here. See how it's kind of all tacky looking? Sorry. That's where the varnish went. That's where the varnish went off the board. I left it laying on this thing on my shelf, and it stuck to it. I don't know why, but it did. So, so now this is kind of tacky, and the board's kind of tacky. So I don't like that. Then again, these products weren't really made to use together because this Revolution cushion is made by a different company. Not the same company, so it kind of makes sense. They're not made really to store together on top of each other or anything. So I've been using this, this cushion, and let me show you this cushion. It has a little plug in it. Here's the plug right here. So you can inflate this thing and deflate it. Right there is a little plug that sticks in there. And you can inflate it and deflate it. It comes all flat. So it kind of packs down pretty good if you're going to like pack it in a suitcase or something to take it with you. Probably should have done that, but I didn't do that. So if you want to inflate it, you just blow it up as high as you want it. Stick the plug back in it. You're probably thinking, hey, that's gross. You blew that thing up and it's been on the floor. Yep, you're right. That was probably pretty gross. I probably should have wiped it off with some Lysol or something. But nonetheless, too late. I already did. Okay. So that's the cushion and they're both durable materials and they work really well. So let me show you now, I guess maybe some exercises that you can do with this thing. I can drop a, let me, let me do this first, I guess. Let me drop a little footage in here from my office. I can't really show you my office. So all you're gonna see is basically my feet on the board. Okay, that's all you're gonna see. So you probably saw on the video footage from my office that I was pretty stable, right? At least it looks that way. And that's because when you use this thing with a stand-up desk, it's a, it's a lot more stable. So I don't have a stand-up desk here in my house, but what I do have, I'm gonna kind of simulate my stand-up desk. This is about the same height as my stand-up desk. And so when I step on this thing, then I'm at my desk, it's pretty wobbly, pretty wobbly, like this, right? But when I have the, the desk in front of me, which I'm not gonna put this in front of me really, because then you won't be able to see. But when I have my desk and I've got my hands on the desk to type or use my mouse, look at that, so much more stable. Just barely putting my hand on here. It's not like I'm putting a lot of pressure on this on this hand. So much more stable. So when I have my desk, I gotta remember to take my hands off every once in a while so that I can work and work that knee, right? I got this thing because I had knee surgery. And I can say that I can feel it in my knee after a day of standing on this thing. I usually don't stand on it all, all day. It's usually off and on. But I can feel the thing working my knee, that's for sure. And after eight months, of course, I hadn't been in the office all eight months because I travel for work sometimes as well. Uh, I think it's I think it's helped. It definitely helped my balance because initially, before, I couldn't even balance this much. I don't know how well you guys can see the floor there. All right, so let me show you now some exercises that you can also do with this stuff. Kind of like the exercises they had me do in physical therapy and then some other fitness exercises that will help you out as well. All right, y'all come on in here and we'll look at that. Okay, here we go. So I'm standing on this thing. I'm balancing on it pretty good. Now, some exercises that you could do, like they have you do a physical therapy, you could do with or without the board for this first one. So, you're not a doctor though. I'm not a doctor, so this is just what they showed me in physical therapy that I did. So I don't know if it'll help you or not. Check with your doctor, your physical therapist. So they had me balance on a cushion similar to this for I think it was two minutes. So I would balance for two minutes and of course I would balance on each each leg for two minutes. So this really helps with your stabilization as well. Uh, and in fact if you had to start out you could probably start out doing just with both feet on and not if you can't do one at a time. So some other things that you could do that, that would be helpful is squats. So you do these squats and you can really feel that burning in there if you're trying to stabilize as well as squatting. So we're doing those exercises. 
comfortable. Do some other exercises, stabilize, you can feel that. You can even do just some regular squats. We'll put you something next to you, put a hand, a hand on it, so you really get your balance together real well. That's that, or you, and you can, of course, you can do it with a board on it as well. Just stand in the middle of the board and do the same thing. Get your handle to hold on to, do your squats. You might not be able to go all the way down at first, but you can try it. And then you can also have your knees out and do wider squats. So some other exercises that you can do is planking. This will help. And I would suggest not to put your hand here like this, but hold it on the surface there. And then you can do push-ups and this will force you to stabilize. And you can do that with the cushion. You can do it with a half roller. Half roller, limit your, your axis to only left and right, right? So only gonna go this way. Whereas the cushion, these are two axes, right? So you're wobbling this way and this way, so like that. And then you can also use the full roller. So a lot of this just depends on your balance ability to do this. So to maintain, it's pretty hard, so I've never done it Ugh, like this. Well, you can do push-ups that way. Or you can do it the other direction, put your feet on the board. Then do some planking with your feet on the board. And I know my form isn't perfect, but I'm just showing you what you could do. Like that. You can do the same thing with the cushion or the half roller, and those will just make it a little easier. Okay, so now let's look at this. Let's look at the half roller. You can do the half roller, traditional, which would be like this. You can still do this, depending on your balance, but as an old guy, my balance ain't the greatest. But it's getting better, I can tell you for sure. It's definitely getting better. So that's the half, the half roller right there. It is really good, which I'm not, and, and I'm killing, but you can get to where you can learn tricks, do tricks. I cannot, but I'm gonna attempt one for you here. I'm getting evil eye. Maybe I'm gonna attempt one. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna do one, hold on. Oh. I almost got it. <laughs> and anyway, there's a thousand videos on YouTube where people do that kind of stuff, all the tricks, indoor board tricks. And asked if you can put the, uh, the rolly side down and the flat side up. I don't know why not. It seems like it would be in, in between cork boards. Yeah, either way. It actually looks more stable. Either way, yeah. Maybe now I should try this. I didn't mean for tricks. All right. Now you can also do it this way. Now the first time I tried to do it at this angle, the board kept sliding off. It's a little bit harder to get on a board like this, but there we go. I think because I got the sticky on the bottom is why it's hanging on. So that's that just gets you a front to back, front to back motion. So you can do that. Really part about being the old guy? It's not there, it's not now. All right, that's the half roller. So now let's look at the fork roller. And this was a little bit more difficult. Yeah, those two came together? Yeah. So, so these two came together, so this is a cork roller, and you can see it gives you a little more latitude going sideways. And some people do tricks on these as well. Now, something else I should have pointed out is on the bottom of this thing, they got little stoppers, little stoppers right there right there so your roller won't go all the way up. Now that doesn't mean when you don't hit the sink then you're gonna go flying. You probably will. So I'm gonna try not to show you that. Okay, here we go. On the roller. Ah. Don't want to bend the best part. Perfect timing for slippery So let's well, see what happens. Yeah, I can't do a trick on this one. Can't do a trick on any of them. It'll be a little try. That's how you get better by trying them, right? Yeah, do it. Alright, y'all keep watching. Let's wrap this thing up. Alright, y'all. There it is. That's the fourth B balance board with the Revolution little uh, wobble cushion and the fourth B cork cylinder and the Revolution, I guess, half cylinder, cylinder balance cylinder. I hope this review has helped you out if you're looking at balance boards. If you're recovering from like a knee surgery or a hip or an ankle surgery or something like that, if 
If your doctor has recommended this kind of stuff and you're looking for this, this combination, I would recommend just keep in mind that your little the varnish may come off the bottom of this board. But it's not the end of the world. It's still good. Because remember these products, I bought them separate. They're not really designed together. I bought them separate because when I was looking eight months ago, the cheapest balance board with the wobble cushion, this whole setup kind of deal was about 180 bucks. And I got into this setup here for about 110 or 20 bucks, something like that. I don't remember for sure what it was now, but so it's pretty good. So I hope this video helps you out. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well, you can leave me a thumbs down too. Either way, I understand not all videos are for everybody, but leave us some comments. Good, bad, otherwise comments, constructive criticisms, things we can do to make these videos better for you guys and more informational for you. And maybe leave some comments about some experiences you've had with balance boards, wobble cushions, things of this nature that other folks watching this video might read and appreciate so that uh, if you got a better idea, then they can have that idea as well and help them out. We all want to come together and help each other out. Maybe you have some other ideas or reviews you'd like to see or travel or how-to videos. We do all kinds of videos on this channel. Check out our social media. Follow us over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Living Cooper. And check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And last, and probably the most important thing is please subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions. And hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload a video. Check out our other videos. we got all kinds of videos. Check them out. And we'll see you guys next time. Keep watching.